if you have heard of something known as llama index but never got an opportunity to know more about it then this video is for you i am going to cover llama index keeping beginners point of view in mind and trying to explain you what this is from the scratch let's see that as part of this video we are going to understand what is llama index first of all then we are going to understand what is the difference between llama index and langchain okay because langchain also more or less does the same work then we are going to understand the key features for example data ingestion data indexing and query interface when it comes to llama index okay then i am going to walk you through one huge case and i am going to talk the way forward sounds interesting let's move ahead and try to understand what is llama index first of all okay so you have to forget all the definitions that you have learned for the llama index and just remember one thing it is nothing but a framework okay a framework that makes your life easy when you work with large language models okay a framework to make your life easy when you work with large language models how it makes your life easy integration with large language model is done efficiently and subject specific knowledge is fed into the model very very efficiently two things i am talking here guys first the integration of the with the model will happen efficiently and simply and easily second domain specific subject specific knowledge you can extract from the model by feeding obviously that information very very easily and simply okay so those kind of models are nothing but rag models which i have covered as part of one video now this is the basic of what llama index is how it is different from langchain as i told both are more or less same right how it is different so if we try to understand this then few things you need to remember i will write here lang uh, llama index and this side i will write langchain okay what you have to remember is this is very very simple okay simple and efficient okay this is very very simple and efficient llama index okay when i say simple and efficient means it is very good for prototyping very good for getting a feel of what's happening very good for some specific task okay langchain is basically generic in nature okay so it is basically generic versatile okay versatile and scalable okay i'm just mentioning some properties of both this so that it's clear to you okay then you have to understand llama index is optimized for it also depends on what it is optimized for right so llama index is optimized for indexing okay when i say indexing your mind should immediately go to how indexing should happen in the world of natural language processing or large language models okay optimized for indexing and retrieval okay retrieval if i'm writing wrong spelling please pardon me okay optimized for indexing and retrieval uh, simple and efficient generic versatile and scalable and this is basically uh, a general purpose thing okay so this is basically a general purpose thing okay so these are some of the key differences between these two frameworks one more difference i want to mention here in langchain you get some out of the shelf solutions so which means that you directly take that code snippet that framework that piece of component and club it with something that works as it is so out of shelf solution in in llama index out of shelf solutions are less or it's near to there are no out of shelf solutions okay so just try to understand the difference between these two but both of them will support rag based models okay if you don't know what is rag based model what is indexing i'm talking about then please go to unfold data science youtube channel everything is there for free go here learn about building rag based model using langchain see this video you will get an idea of what is a rag based model see this vector database hands on tutorial vector database for beginners if you see these two videos you will know how indexing works what is vector databases and if you see data analysis using llm you will know how llms are used in day to day practice okay so if you watch the, these videos you will have a fair bit of idea google gemini uh, video is also there right so those things you can see 
coming back to our discussion of what we are what we are talking here right lang chain and lama index comparison we have done now i'll tell you something very very specific to lama index that you need to remember so there are three critical parts in lama index operating model one is called data ingestion other is called data indexing and third is called query interface so let me write it here okay as it is clear from the name right data ingestion what it will do it this component what it will do it will allow to ingest data from various sources okay data indexing what it will do it will help us to create indexing for the data or put data in a format which is optimized for retrieval so you remember i told here data indexing optimized for indexing and retrieval right so lama index core functionality is it does very good data indexing okay and query interface is nothing but once i have stored the data once i have indexed the data how do i use that data right whether i want to create a query engine whether i want to create a chat engine or whether i i want to create something else right having said that i have opened the relevant pages here and i want to walk you through what is what i mean by data engine and what i mean by query engine and what i mean by data interface let me open that one by one okay so as you can see here this is data connectors okay and this is nothing but data reader as you can see here a data connector ingests data from different data sources and data formats into a simple document representation text and simple metadata this is the first component i am talking about here okay so data connectors now what data connectors can be there inside my uh, lama index so one data connector can be simple directory reader what simple directory reader will do it will simply go and read all the files that you put inside a directory okay similarly what mongodb reader, reader will do it will go and read data from mongodb what pinecon reader will do pinecon vector database similarly all these things right now if i take example of simple directory reader right and i open this it's very simple uh, you know in in a directory right whatever files you will put you can ingest those files simply inside the lama index so see here simple directory reader i will show you in the lab also now simple directory reader input file is this and then this is getting read in the docs and loaded one doc that's all it's very simple as i said you in the beginning so you use this module to ingest the data and similarly as i was showing you mongodb you can ingest google docs you can ingest and many things you can ingest okay that is about ingestion part now let's talk about indexing part so there are different different indexing ways now i want to emphasize one more time guys if you don't understand about vector databases you can learn from here okay vector database for beginner vector database because vector database is used in llms everywhere okay so what i'm trying to show you here is what are different indexing approaches that is taken as part of llm so there are various indexing methods one indexing method is known as list indexing node is nothing but a chunk of information okay so this chunk of information is stored in a list so this is called a summary index or list index then there is something known as a vector stored index so vector stored index will store the information in this format not one not two not three and when you query right then this is how response synthesis will happen so one information is here other is here similarity is top 2k if this is 3 then all 3 will go if this is 2 then these two will go in the response okay this is basically internally how the indexing is happening how the information is getting kept inside the vector database okay then tree index is other way of indexing key keyword table index is other way of indexing i am just walking you fast because these are not everything you need to know in the beginning just i am telling you this is an important aspect of lama index like how the data indexing will be created okay and these are various flavors of that in my lab i'll be using vector stored index so what vector index i am using i'll be using is vector stored index and simply i can say vector stored index from documents upload my document that's all end of it so you remember i read the document using simple directory reader and then i am inserting using from documents in vector stored index and my vectors indexes will be created okay these two things now the third component from my this sheet data ingestion i told you indexing i told you query interface comes in various flavors okay first flavor of query interface is chat 
uh, query engine. Okay. Let me show you what is that. Let me close this since we have discussed this so that there, there are no confusion. Simple directory we discussed. Vector we discussed. Query engine. So query engine is a generic interface that allows you to ask questions to your data. Very, very simple and we will use this in our lab. So once you have created your index, you can create a query engine. Query engine is equal to index dot add as query engine and you can ask questions, you can get response, okay? This is one flavor of query interface. The other flavor of query interface is something known as chat engine. Here you can create a chatbot kind of thing, okay? You can ask, tell me a joke or whatnot, but prerequisite is you should have the index ready. So see here, it is from the index, okay? So remember guys, three important components of this, I explained you. Ingestion, indexing, query interface, various flavors, okay? Next component that I want to explain you here is integration. So Lama index gives you a flexibility to integrate. As you can see here, lang chain or stream lit or chain lit or Lama index plus ray. Many things are there. Whatever you want to explore, you can explore from this page. But I'm just trying to tell you how from this page integration.html, you can see different integration options. Now coming to uh, Coming to the Lama index tutorial that I wanted to show you guys, like a hands-on walkthrough kind of thing. What I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to build a simple rag based model. Okay, rag based means I will feed my own information and then ask questions. So I'm going to my directory. I'm installing Lama index. I'm passing my API key because I don't want to expose my key. Okay. And then if you see here, I, I was telling you, I will use vector stored index and I will use simple directory reader. In simple directory reader, right? I'm giving source of my input file. My input file is nothing but Atomic Habits book by James Clear that is on my desktop, okay? So this book talks about various good habits, how to build habits, right? This is a very famous book. That one I'm giving as input in the documents, okay? So as you can see, simple directory reader, dot load data will load the data. As I told you, this is the first step, ingesting, okay? Ingesting, then I will create uh, indexes and then I will query that, okay? So first step, ingesting. So this is ingesting, okay? Ingestion is happening. Once ingestion happens, I'm able to see what is my document, what is the length of my document, what is the in the list first thing, and documents, means what type of document it is, kind of some ID, etc. Now, I am just in this block of code. I am just arranging it in a proper format before indexing. Okay. And then if you see here, I am just initializing my LLM using um, GPT 3.5 Turbo and I'm using a service context. So service context is basically just to give you some idea of this service context is another simple concept is a utility container for Lama index for query classes. So using this, you tell what query you want to run you, you are basically creating a container for your query to run, okay? So here you can use different, different context classes. For example, OpenAI embedding, Hugging Face embedding, Optimum, whatever embedding you want to use in this purpose, okay? So here, if you see service context from default, right? This thing you take and then you create your indexes, okay? So this is the model I'm using to create my indexes. This is the model from the Hugging Face. This model, I take it and then what I do is I just say vector index from documents and service context. I pass this service context and I say create my index. OK, I will repeat it one more time, guys. In line number five, I am just saying I will use GPT 3.5 Turbo. OK, from here to here, I'm defining a service context. I'm using this particular model for creating my indexes. And from here to here, I'm actually creating my indexes and what I'm using vector stored index. OK, so till now I have used data ingestion, simple directory reader, vector stored index for vector uh, creation, index creation, service context for setting my context, open AI for my model. OK, now I will go ahead and create the third thing that is query interface. And I will say as query engine, I will give my key and I will create my query engine. Once this is done, I'm ready to ask my questions, okay? So I'm saying here, how to identify bad habits? This is the response. Now let me change this. How to get good habits? Okay, so some, some uh, knowledge from the book it's giving me, okay? 
tell me let me customize it tell me in 50 words okay how to get good habits so it is giving giving me in 50 words so this information is a this model is a rag based model where i have fed the information now if you compare i build the similar model on similar book knowingly i use the same book atomic habits in this also building rag model using langchain and today i built in front of you in llama index so you can compare this video with today's video and see how llama index and Langchain are working differently on the same model, same RAG model. What I want you to do is, I want you to go to the documentation of Llama Index and start reading about different, different embeddings. There is a starter tutorial here, okay? So if you go here, all the things you can get, whatever I'm talking here now, more or less. I mean, some of the code I have written, but mostly you will find it here. And then you can take your path, which area you want to learn more into. Okay, so I will just summarize here guys. Llama index basically a framework for creating large language model based application, making your life easy and building rag based model. Langchain is for uh, versatile, generic in nature. Llama index is basically simple, efficient prototyping you can do quickly. Ingestion, I told you important components. Indexing, I told you important components. Query interface, I showed you. We did a huge case and I told you where to read from here. Okay, please give me a thumbs up if you like this video guys. I'll see you all in the next video wherever you are. Stay safe and take care.